Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played last week. When I was playing as black here, my opponent started off with e4 uh, and I responded with c6. Opponent goes d4 trying to acquire the bulk of the center. Now the pawns are controlling a lot of squares here in the center. And I went with d5 asking the opponent straight away that you want to exchange or you want to proceed or how do you want to go about it. Challenging the center pawn straight away. Opponent develops the knight to c3. And here I take the pawn, which is the right move as well. This is the Karukan defense main line. Opponent takes back with the knight. I get with the bishop onto f5. Knight goes back and bishop goes back to g6. Now, before we continue with this further, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. After bishop g6, opponent develops bishop to e3, defending the pawn further, though it was already defended with the queen and I had only got one attack, but opponent wanted to solidify and also develop the bishop simultaneously, maybe preparing to castle queen side uh, soon. I went with e6, trying to develop my dark square bishop next. Uh, opponent plays bishop to d3. Uh, now both the bishops are well placed uh, and now op opponent has the move uh, knight coming out as well which would allow castling on the king side or the queen can come out and that allows casting on the queen side so lots of options for white here uh, and if you see black uh, black is also pretty good with the development as of now yes uh, it's black to move and here i played a uh, bishop to d6 trying to develop one of the bishops uh, now opponent can take here uh, uh, but i let the opponent take because after open takes, I can take back and open up the h-file. And that's what exactly happens in this game. Uh, h-file gets opened up for the attack. Uh, so open has to be careful about it. And casting on the king side can be risky. Open plays a knight to e4, attacking my bishop. Uh, and here I try to defend the bishop, just trying to keep my pieces on the board. Also, when you place your bishop one step backwards against a knight, which is attacking it already, now you are restricting the knight movement as well because knight will have four of the squares which were uh, which are part of this diagonal so you are controlling bulk of the squares where the knight could have gone now uh, so that's a good move i would say getting a bishop back placing it on a safety square now queen d3 opponent is preparing to cast on the queen side most likely because otherwise queen d3 doesn't make sense uh queen can next come to b3 as well trying to hit the b7 but that would be ineffective because a simple move like b6 can save that so i uh rather went with my queen to b6 attacking the pawn forcing an opponent to castle straight away that's what happens and once the castling happens i get my queen back to c7 now my idea is to maybe exchange the bishops in the future uh maybe just uh develop the knight and castle myself on the queen side as well because the queen is in the center uh here queen goes to c3 maybe seeing that that a, a move like knight and then castling on the queen side is possible i develop the knight in any way onto d7 and now pawn forward by opponent d5 trying to break open the center because my king is still in the center uh here i take and opponent takes the g7 by the queen uh, there's no other option. Open can, of course, not take the pawn. Uh, he can take with the rook, but then as soon as my opponent does take, I can develop the knight with tempo attacking the knight. Uh, the pawn on h2 is also weak. So open has to take care of a lot of stuff here. Uh, uh, it can be tricky for the opponent too. So let's go back in the game where... Uh, Opponent took on g7 and I then offered queen exchange trying to make sure uh, that the queen doesn't do any further damage to the rook. Uh, there was no other actual good move apart from this. Uh, if I try to castle, I lose the rook. If I try to save the rook, I lose the knight. So the only move here which saves you uh, is queen to, uh, queen to uh, e5. Uh, bishop onto f6 uh, can be tried out but then knight takes is a is a good thing which can happen now again you can take with one of the knights uh, but then you will lose the rook 
So again, this is also tricky. Only move, and I said, was queen uh, to e5. And that's what happens. Opponent trades the queens now, and I get my knight centralized too. With that, now knight comes to uh, c5, which is now attacking the pawn on b7. And here I castle. And now castling defends the pawn with the king and centralizes my rook against the rook. So it's pretty good. Uh, after castling, my opponent tries to push my knight away by placing f4. And now knight hops in uh, to g4, hitting the bishop. Opponent goes uh, up with the bishop, trying to def attack the rook as well simultaneously. Uh, and it is right also because you want to hold on to this diagonal because otherwise a fork can come. So you have to be careful. The only move my opponent had here was bishop d4. And here I uh, take an extra pawn. I, I saw that pawn hanging. h2 was weak. And I take, uh, open doesn't take uh, my rook. He could have exchanged. But then I take another pawn. So I always like having three pawns. Who doesn't? So I just took one more pawn, which I saw. Uh, now open comes with rook to h8. But there's nothing which is being attacked because I can simply move my knight away. And then it's like you have to exchange rooks. Or you have just wasted one move already by getting your rook to the 8th rank. So opponent does trade here. I trade back with the bishop. Again, taking with the bishop and controlling the diagonal. Uh, making sure that bishop is uh, controlling the knight as well. Uh, otherwise, bishop could have been challenged with the rook. And then again, I have to move it. So I took it with the bishop only. Uh, opponent now tries to get the other knight into the attack. Knight to e5. And I took on the knight trying to exchange stuff. When you are ahead in the game, I was up a couple of pawns, and that's all you need to win uh, the end game. So I just went on exchanging, and again, one more forcing move to exchange was knight to d7. Uh, had I gone up with the knight onto g4, that doesn't force fully. The opponent can move the bishop backwards uh, or ahead, and still not trade the pieces. Uh, and when you want the opponent to trade pieces, you make forceful moves. So this was forced. Now, after you place your knight here, one other piece is going to go if the opponent doesn't take. The opponent cannot save both. So opponent decides to take on the knight, and I take back now with the king. And uh, now b3 by opponent, trying to play uh, c4 next, attacking the center where my king is, because I cannot take back of the pin. Uh, here I went with bishop to e7 trying to give a check from here maybe uh, eventually uh, and opponent gets the bishop backwards onto b8 trying to get a free pawn so i just move it to a6 defending the pawn now uh, a rook comes to e1 and now again i place my bishop onto d6 again forcing a bishop exchange because if now opponent tries to save the bishop i get an extra pawn with a check which would be nasty uh, so bishop can be saved only one place, which loses the pawn. Otherwise, you can trade other bishops. And once you trade other bishops, I have one extra pawn here and one extra pawn here. I can, of course, take this one out with the rook, and that would be easy. So opponent does trade. There is no option. And then rook comes down to e8. I get my rook behind the pawn uh, on the f file. Opponent tries to dislodge one of the pawns there. Uh, by placing rook to b8 and now king c7 saves uh, the pawn and there's no good move my opponent has tries to place rook onto e8 uh, but it's of no use because after i take the pawn i'm defending my f7 and even a check would not bother me because i can simply go to b6 and actually that that's what happens opponent gives a check and i run to b6 and then king uh, comes to b2, trying to come up on the board. And I started pushing my g pawn, g5. Open goes a4. I push to g4. And then after rook e5, my opponent let me play one more move and resigns. Because that was already over, uh, these two pawns are super powerful uh, and can hardly be stopped from here. Uh, this is going to be devastating for white because... Uh, you cannot stop these pawn pushes uh, and rooks will be exchanged some point of time. Uh, so yeah, that was completely winning. 8.1 as per the computer as well. Uh, 8.4 in, in fact now. So yeah, I hope you like this uh, video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. 
and I shall see you tomorrow with some other interesting content as well. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.